Hi, it's Grant from Sown Seeds Ministries on session 5 of the beautiful attitude, the beatitude, which are found in Matthew 5 3 to 12, the ones that we've already covered, including the days. Um, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. And today's is blessed to the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. We should show mercy. The word says in Luke 6, 36, Be merciful, just as your Father is merciful to you, or compassionate. Mercy is the loving disposition towards those who suffer distress. We should forgive those who do wrong to us. In the Lord's Prayer, Matthew 6, it tells us to forgive others. Now, it says this, if you cannot forgive those who sin against you, your Heavenly Father cannot forgive you. So you're in a great place if you can forgive others. Show mercy. Listen, people do all kinds of wrongs to each other. We should forgive and move on. Some people do wrong to you and don't even remember what they've done to you and you're walking around sad. We should brush it off our, uh, off our minds, off our brains. Just give it a good brush, put it in the bin and move on and be merciful to them because it will help you more. Love and compassion and forgiveness towards people is a key. We say forgive, often forgive us. Let's forgive others. Let's start forgiving others. Let's let people off even before they say sorry because then you can move on. Uh, as we are merciful to others, our Heavenly Father will show us mercy and bless us and, and, and comfort us and direct us and give us them beautiful blessings that we don't deserve. But because of the blood of Christ, we are free and we can go forward. And ask Jesus to help us to be merciful to those who don't really deserve mercy. But we didn't deserve mercy. We didn't deserve God's mercy. But he showed us it by his son's death. So let's pray. I want to pray for you. If you don't know Jesus, I want to pray for you so that you can get to know him. And start to learn about the word of God. So the, the word goes like this. Dear Lord Jesus, I acknowledge now that you died on a cross for my sins. I ask you, Lord, to come into my life and forgive me of my sins. I ask you, Lord, to help me to show mercy to people who I think don't deserve it. But I know if we follow you, I will get the strength and become free from those who hurt me. In Jesus' name, Amen. God bless you. Until next time. Bye.